he's in trouble. Eubank again just finding a home for that right hand spin. Back to the ropes. He cannot get out of the way at the minute. And Eubank sets those feet wide. And he needs to punch back. So, and of course, you, you keep Canelo from resetting his feet. Then you have an opportunity to do oh. something. As Callum mentioned, this is the kind of fight where we were looking oh, for something shot, shot. spectacular. And There's another uppercut trying to split the guard for Alvarez. But you can see when Bebo throws the one twos like this, he is scoring. And these are bothering Canelo Day. I and you can excuse me, Daniel. Hi folks, welcome back to the channel. Have you ever looked at an upcoming boxing match and thought who's fooling who? It's a feeling many of us share, especially when promoters try to sell us a fight as if it's a massive spectacle. But let's cut to the chase. This next part is neither thrilling nor significant. For casual fans who just want to see two fighters straight punches, it might seem entertaining. But for those of us deeply entrenched in the fight game, particularly in boxing and martial arts, this matchup feels more like a farce than a fight. Let's focus on Conalo Alvarez, a name that once struck fear into opponents. He was hailed one of boxing's modern greats, but now he finds himself at a crossroads as fight of time takes his toll. Since Dimitri Bivol handed him that pivotal defeat, we've seen a crack in the armor that once seemed impenetrable. Sure, Floyd Mayweather also defeated him, but let's not kid ourselves. Mayweather operates in a league of his own. The loss to Bibble exposed vulnerabilities in a Canelo's game, and instead of stepping up to face real challenges, he's been opting for cherry pick fights. Instead of facing formidable opponents like David Benavides or Terence Crawford, he's looking for the safest route available. Now, rumors are swirling about a potential fight with Chris Eubank Jr. Let's pause for a moment and think about that. Eubank just faced Camille Shimereta and barely scraped by. His performance was lacklustre. He struggled to land significant punches until his corner had to urge him to attack the body. And by the sixth round, he was already gassing out. How can anyone expect him to stand a chance against a Canela who bows a granite chin and has never been knocked down? If Eubank couldn't even drop Ceramita or Camel, whatever his name is, with a headshot, what makes anyone think he can rattle Canela? Canela will systematically wear him down. And if Eubank continues to tire like that, at that, this fight will last past eight rounds. No disrespect to either fighter, but honestly, I won't be watching this one. It's like someone trying to sell you a counterfeit luxury watch or serving you a poorly cooked meal, utterly unappetizing and a waste of time. That's how I feel about this match. It lacks any real excitement or depth. In truth, Canelo wasn't to fight Chris, but after seeing how Chris performed against Camille, he must have changed his plans and wants to take this fight for easy payday. And that's the truth. What I'm truly craving is a genuine high-stakes showdown, something with the intensity of Canelo versus Benavides or Crawford, where I can confidently say, now that's a fight worth watching. Until that day arrives, I'll be waiting, eyes wide open for a matchup that truly captivates. Thanks for joining me today, folks, and stay tuned for more insightful analysis. Again, thank you for watching. See you next time.